to have Tigers fans supporting the Tiger suits from Primark. And thanks to a 30 pound sponsorship, even had match day coordinator Tom O joining in. Also joining in on the action, attending her very first game, Sydney Boot, and aged just nine days old. Tigers, after their defeat against Guildford in midweek, were boosted by the fact that Yuri Senko was returning back from injury. I will be hoping to hit the target, something which they were not able to do on Wednesday night. Bretton will be the opponent for this game, and also the opponent mainly targeting that playoff spot. It's going to be a close encounter, and after the last time they met, the Tigers winning on penalties, it's going to be a close call. As the first period got itself underway, it was quite even, but it was Bracknell who were getting the most of the chances. This one, having Decker Ryan pulled way out of position. And Bracknell taking the lead through this effort. Not to be outdone though, Tiger showing a lot more effort and hustle than we've seen on Wednesday night. We're able to get themselves an equaliser through this shot from Luke Brittle, taking the game to 1 1. It was this goal that really sparked off the Tigers, getting themselves a few of the better chances, finishing off the period. But at the end of the first, it was one apiece. The second period getting itself underway, the Tigers kept up the same momentum that they had towards the end of the first, getting lots of good chances, and not being able to convert. Not even this breakaway giving a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for Marek Hornek was not enough to beat the netminder. As the second period starts to wind itself down a little bit, Bratnell starts to get themselves a few more good opportunities. But falling foul of the referee, they got themselves a fair few penalties, giving Tigers a lot of power play opportunities which they were unable to convert on. And after this flurry of shots, another penalty was caught against the Bees, which meant the Tigers would start off the third period on the power play. And it was from this power play that Tom Watkins was able to get the Tigers a lead. A 5 on 3 power play. This goal meant that the Bracknell Bees returned back to four skaters. And racing up the other end of the ice, we're able to equalise short handed, taking the game to 2 2. And straight away after this as well, the Bees got themselves their third goal of the night. Taking the scoreline to 3-2 in favour of the visitors. And tries them out the Tigers, despite getting some good chances to put the puck away. We're not able to get that final touch. And pulling the net miner at the very end of the third. The Bees missed out on the empty net. Despite the extra skater, it was all over. Final score, Telford Tigers 2, Bracknell Bees 3. Right, just off, a tough game tonight, but two you know, very evenly matched sides. I think so. I mean, no disrespect to Bracknell, I thought we could have you know, won that game. Um, we had the opportunity, we had plenty of power play opportunities. I thought we moved the puck well on the power play. Um, some reason it's not it's not quite clicking. Um, so I go away tonight and I'll start looking at the personnel, seeing if we've got the right bodies in the right spots. 
Um, and I think our power play has got to be a lot hungry. You know, you, you look at the good teams, the top teams, there's so much energy on their power play. If they lose the puck, they come back, they support. If, they, if they're battling down low, they'll send two or three guys. And I don't think we've just got that hunger. And I said to the guys just now, I don't think you guys play with enough passion this evening to, to make a difference to win the hockey game. Do you think uh, power play is the key for...? I think every team, every good team that I've played on, every NHL team, if you've got a power play that's clicking at 25%, you know, you're going you're to win hockey games. And it's the difference between winning and losing. Um, unfortunately, you know, our guys on that on those two units didn't do the job tonight. And how disappointing was it to uh, see back on score just after you taken the lead in the third period? Um, it, it was a short-handed goal. Um, we made a bad play down low. And it comes back and you know, shoves it down our throat. The, I, I was unhappy with the third goal that we conceded. We leave a guy off the back post and you can't do that again. And um, back to, are they? You're looking at them as one of the teams to beat, to beat, you know, in a playoff spot. Yeah, you know, they, they're our end, of, our end of the table right now. Um, you know, in Master and Smittle, they've got game winners. Um, I got to look into my dressing room. I don't think we have a Master and Smittle in there, so we've got to we've got to go about our games a little bit different. We've got to plug a little bit more. We've got to grind a little bit more. We've got youthful guys in there who I don't think play with enough energy and, uh, and character and heart. Um, they've got to be our energy guys. They've got to be the ones who've got to get people up and going. Um, but then our older guys have got, to, have got to lead the way as well, they've got to set an example and I think some guys were coasting a little bit tonight. And I don't like to be too hard because we had opportunities to win the game, but that's the difference between, between a good team and a, and a team that have just lost. Yeah, and uh, the hard work's back after the Guildford game, but I don't think it's quite there tonight, was it? Well, I don't know, I thought we worked hard and we just in spots we got a little bit, be a little bit smart. We should have won that hard game. Absolutely no doubt about it. We should have won that hockey game. We had 18 shots in the second period. We should have won the game. There's no question of our commitment or our effort levels. We just didn't have the quality in front of goal. Uh, first of all, closely matched game tonight. I think it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was, yeah, a very tight game. Telford played a tight game um, defensively. Um, they took their chance as well. We gave them. Um, it was a scrappy game. We didn't play very well. We got off to, um, to a slow start in the first and got outshot most of the night. But luckily we uh, pulled it through at the end. Do you think the crucial period is the third period? I think Telford took the lead and then you just managed to get it back quite soon afterwards. Yeah, we managed to get a uh, short-handed goal and then um, obviously we just got the win at the end of there, so yeah, happy with that. And a, a tough one this side, you're looking to beat you around that final playoff spot? Looking to beat everybody, yeah. <laughs> we, um, we've had a few OT losses and that, we don't, you know, we don't really think we deserve to be down there at the moment, but obviously the results don't lie and that's where we are, so we have to battle through and hopefully start climbing the table.